Are you trying to breed your rabbits, but the buck just isn't interested in the does? You're not sure what to do about it? That's what we're going to get cleared up in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And like I said already, this video is going to be about what to do when your buck won't breed. Now I've addressed this topic before when it comes to breeding rabbits and difficulty, but usually that's the doe that's not willing to breed. It's almost always the case. The buck's almost always more than willing to breed, very excited about it, and the doe just won't lift for him. If that's your problem, I do have a video already addressing that. You can go check it out here. Or maybe it's in this corner. It's in one of these corners. There'll be a link. You can go check out that video right there. Um, but if it is your buck, then this is the video we're going to talk about this in. Um, I actually had this come up in the live broadcast last week, and I've had it come up a couple of times in the comments, so I thought it was a good idea to go ahead and address this topic. All right, so let's get into it. First and foremost, there's a couple of reasons, let me say. There are a couple of reasons why your buck may not be willing to breed. The first one is that maybe they're a little bit overweight. If they're a little bit on the chunky side, a little bit heavy, sometimes they just don't have an interest in breeding. They're just too lazy for whatever reason, so you might need to put them on a diet. Always feed your rabbits just how much they'll eat within 24 hours. So for a full-size rabbit, um, I'll show you my feeding cup here. This is about how much they get. So this is, um, I don't know, eight ounces, something like that. That's about how much they get every day. When I go to feed these rabbits, if they've cleaned up all their pellets from the day before and they just dive into the feeder as soon as I put feed in there, then I'll give them just a little bit more, just about that much more of that cup. And that's it for the day. And then I'll watch them the next day. Now, if there's pellets left over, then cut back on it. Now, if your buck's not willing to breed, you may need to make sure that he is a little bit hungry when you go to feed him each day. And do that for a week or two. Give him a little bit of chance to lose just a little bit of weight. It doesn't take much on a rabbit. They're not very big to begin with, so it doesn't take a whole lot of weight loss to get him back in shape. All right, so now if weight is not the issue, if that doesn't fix your issue, then it could be a number of other different things. Uh, you could be looking at some kind of illness or disease, but those are pretty rare, so I'm really not going to talk about that in this video. Um, if your rabbit is sick, uh, you, you probably will know it already, and that, that could be the cause of it. You're going to have to get him treated. I, I can't cover all those kinds of illnesses and all those things in a short video like this, and it's pretty rare that that's going to be the case. So we're going to skip over that. We're going to talk about other things that could be causing it. If your rabbit is a little bit on the young side, most bucks are willing to breed or ready to breed, I should say by about six months old but if you're trying to breed a rabbit that is six months old and he's just not willing to perform give him a little while let him let him age out another three weeks or a month more and then try again and see if he'll be willing to breed at that point um, now breeding a rabbit too young a, a buck rabbit especially uh, can can make him lose his confidence so if you put a doe in his cage especially one that may be a little bit aggressive or you know just maybe kind of uh, you know just grunts at him or something like that he may lose his confidence and it may be hard to get him to breed again. You may have to try to find a doe that is a little bit more willing to breed, breed him with her, let him get his confidence back, and that will help out with that as well for future breedings with other rabbits. The other thing that may have happened is um, when you breed rabbits, you always bring the doe to the buck. Don't ever take the buck to the doe. So if his first breeding experience was taking him out of his cage and putting him in the doe's cage, does can get very territorial. If you put a buck in their cage, they're going to get aggressive with him, usually, 99% of the time. They can, uh, they can beat him up pretty good. They can even castrate him. So if he had that kind of experience on his first breeding attempt, again, you're looking at a confidence issue with your buck, and you may have to try to find a doe that's a little bit more willing to breed before he will you know, breed. And he needs to have a couple of successful breedings to get his confidence back to know kind of what to do at that point. All right, so let's assume your, your buck is not young, he's not overweight, is he old? That's another thing to look at. You know, bucks are usually good for about five years, something like that. If your buck is a little bit on the uh, older side of that spectrum, he may just be aging out. He may just be done for the most part, and you may have to look at getting a replacement uh, for him. Another thing that can affect them is hot weather. A lot of times in the heat of summer, especially if you live in a climate that gets up over about 85 degrees Fahrenheit on a regular basis, that can, that's really tough on your rabbits. It's stressful on them. They already have big fur coats on, and that stress of the heat of summer can cause him to temporarily just not really be in the mood to breed. So you may have to wait till it cools off, or you could try breeding him early in the morning, late, late evening. Uh, that may be times where it's a little bit easier to get him to uh, 
to breed at that point. Uh, let's see, what else could it be? Oh, lack of light. You know, we're moving into fall right now. The days are starting to get shorter. We've got about 10 hours a day of daylight right now. And sometimes that extra light, or that lack of light, I should say, puts your rabbits in a non-breeding mood. So adding a light to your hutch and extending that daylight out to about 14 or 15 hours a day can help get them in the mood to breed as well. So those are a couple of things you can look for. Now, if you've tried all those things and you just can't get your buck to breed, my suggestion would be look for a new replacement buck, especially if you've got a buck with a confidence issue that you just really have to work with hard to get him to breed. Unless there's something special about him that you really, really like and you want to pass on traits to other uh, rabbits, and you know, I think I would just look for another buck. And that same, my same suggestion goes for females. If you have a female that is just incredibly hard to, to breed every time you go to breed her, and again, I've got a video addressing that you can go watch that but if you have to go through those efforts every time you go to breed her look for a new rabbit life is so much easier with breeding rabbits when you've got rabbits that are just willing and easier to deal with it's just it makes your life a lot easier in the long run so i would always look for a replacement if that is the case but you know try these other things first put him on a little bit of a diet add extra light to the uh, hutch um see if uh you know make sure he's not too young too old and if all those things are right then again, you may just have to look for another buck at that point. But hopefully this helps out a little bit with that. Um, you know, it is rare, thank goodness, for bucks to not be interested in the does and bucks to not want to breed, but it does happen from time to time. So if you're having that problem, there's a couple of tips and things that you can try with that. Hopefully it works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, God bless.